What is up guys, Master Rob here. Welcome to a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today is actually a really special one for kind of two reasons. First of all, this is the iPhone 7 and this is going to be my first time playing on the iPhone 7. If you want a dedicated iPhone 7 gameplay video, let me know, hit the like button down below. And I'm also thinking of giving this one away. So if you want me to give this away, hit the like button down below and I might do like a month long competition or something with you guys where one of you are going to win this iPhone 7. Anyway, that's not the main thing. The main thing is this. Now, this is Pokemon Go Plus, the accessory that was meant to come out when the game came out but got delayed. You literally cannot buy these. So, big shout out to Pokemon UK for sending me this bad boy. Thank you so much for sending me this. Uh, and today, we're going to use it for the first time. We're also going to try and learn how to install it and how to get it set up because I honestly have no idea. I haven't used it yet. So, it's a little plastic accessory that you can either have on this strap like I have at the moment or it can have a clip. I just went with the strap because it's a lot easier to kind of put on your arm or whatever. And the idea behind it is that you can collect uh, Pokestop stuff, like, you know, Pokeballs, potions, whatever, just by clicking this. And you can also try and catch Pokemon. I'm not sure how it works because if I was to walk by a Blastoise and it said on here, oh, there's a Pokemon, I kind of want to throw an Ultra Ball, obviously. But I don't know if this makes that judgment. We're going to find out. That's what we're going to do today. To pair Pokemon Go Plus, you need Bluetooth on, and then we need to go into our settings. Now, lots of people have had, like, not issues, but sometimes it doesn't connect and whatever. So, hopefully, this is going to work. Let's try it. So, it says available devices, none. So, I guess if I press that, whoa, okay, that was insanely fast. So, do I literally just click on that? Pairing request, let's pair up. This is buzzed in my hand, so I think that's, like, saying that I can find it. Here we go. Where, oh, here, so, it tells you exactly how to do it. Pokemon Go Plus. When a Pokemon is nearby, the device uh, vibrates and blinks. Green light for Pokemon you've caught. Yellow light for Pokemon you haven't caught. Press the button to try and catch it. Pokemon Go Plus. After you press the button, you'll see multicolored lights for success uh, or red light if the Pokemon has run away. So I assume you only get one go and you either catch it or you don't. Uh, when you're in range of a Pokestop, the device vibrates and its light blinks blue. So blue is for Pokestop. Uh, press and hold the, uh, to search the Pokestop for items. The light will blink multicolor for success and shine red for out of range. So again, it's like a timed thing. You need to be in range again. And that is literally it. So this is now working. We've got a green light on here, which I think means there's a Pokemon nearby. So I'm going to turn off my phone and we're going to try this for the first time. So I press the button. It's gone white. White, white, red. So we didn't, and then we get a notification. Pokemon Go Plus, the Pokemon fled. So we didn't capture that Pokemon, but we've got another one nearby. So that Pokemon I think was Abra, because there was an Abra here. And I also think there's a Caterpie. So I pressed it again, one, two, and it fled. Wow, okay, so two out of two have fled so far. That's, that's pretty impressive. Okay, so let's go onto the app and see what that says. Um, location, actually, whatever. Um, so can we now see, but the Abra is still there. Okay, that's interesting. What if I click on him now? No, error. So obviously it tried to capture that and it didn't get it. So if we go onto my journal, uh, which is here, we can see what went down. So Rattata was caught. Oh, hold on. Okay, so the first one was a Weedle, which ran away. And then I got a Rattata in there somehow. So maybe because there were two Pokemon right next to each other, I like, one of these clicks did both of them and I got one of them I didn't get the other one because these are the exact same time um, and then I I didn't capture my Abra so that's kind of interesting but you can see oh, there's a Hitman Lee or chat which one is this Hitman Lee, Lee yeah. that's Lee isn't it there's a Hitman Lee around which would be great to go find and capture I think I know where he is um, but yeah it hasn't got any of these pokey stops which is a little bit weird so let's press this and see what it does it's flash blue so I'm going to hold it down because it said hold it down to search. Now, I don't know. I don't know what that does. So maybe we need to move. And once we move, like, you know, when these pop open, then we can search them and see what's in. So what we're going to do, because it's absolutely pouring it down, the one day we get the Pokemon Plus uh, to go out and try it, it starts raining. We're in the Hummer, so I apologize for en any engine noise. It is insanely loud. But we're going to drive around slowly. I'm going to attach this to my arm just here. And we're going to see if that works. So again, I've had another Pokemon spawn. There's a Caterpie there. But it hasn't come up on this. I don't know how this works, but we'll figure it out. But now I'm worried that it's not connected. Yeah. Finding Pokemon Go Plus. Oh, it's not connected. So it's disconnected for some reason. Maybe when I tap it, that disconnected it. So we're driving down this road now really slowly. I know there's Poke Stops down here, but for some reason, this isn't picking anything up. So, you know what I said previously about the uh, slight issues? 
uh, that Pokemon Go Plus had. Sometimes it seems to disconnect. I want to say this at the moment is not connected because as you can see, nothing is happening from it. We're going to give it another like five seconds and see if anything pops up, but nothing seems to be popping up. So we're going to have a look on the phone and see what's up. Maybe when I pressed it earlier, if you remember I pressed it, maybe that disconnected it and turned it off. I'm not 100% sure. So let's press it again and see. So it kind of flashes blue, which I assume is it's searching for my phone, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I have no idea what's going on. So right, it did disconnect. Adam's just got on my phone and it disconnected. So I assume as soon as you like press it or maybe when I held it down, that turns it off to save battery. I'm not sure how you charge this thing. It doesn't have a charger cable with it. It doesn't have an obvious battery slot where you put in a little battery. But we're gonna be driving down here. Now we know on the right in a minute there is a pokey stop. So I'm hoping that it's gonna flash up blue to show that there's a pokey stop there. Uh, let's just go around this roundabout. So we're driving fairly slowly because again, it said if you run out of range, it will go red to show you haven't got everything from the pokey stop. But I don't know what kind of distance it's gonna give me, how long it's gonna give me. So we're sticking at around 15 miles an hour around town. So we're taking it nice and slow. It is really busy though, to be fair. Um, so we wouldn't be able to go much faster anyway. So the pokey stop is right here on the right, literally right here. So this should be going off any second now. There we go, it's gone off. So I press it and multicolored, which means we got something. My phone has vibrated, so Adam's gonna show you how that's, oh, hold on, hold on, we've got a Pokemon here too. We've got a Pokemon, so it's gone green, so I pressed it, and here we go, one. Nah, failed, okay, so we failed to capture the Pokemon. So that works quite well. So it tells you exactly when you get the Pokestops, exactly when you get the Pokemon, and all you have to do is tap it. So Adam's gonna show you now what we got from that Pokestop module and which uh, Pokemon we did and capture in our journal. So that was pretty quick, to be fair. I don't know if I have to hold it down to get the Pokestop, uh, but it worked. But again, it doesn't tell me, wait, does that say we got two Pokestops? No, so one Pokestop, but it doesn't tell me what Pokemon I failed to capture. Uh, so again, it's a little bit glitchy, I feel. It's not getting everything perfect, but it's a really good step because again, if you're driving, for example, you wanna be collecting these Pokestops, especially when you're in traffic, going around London or anything, you're driving slowly and you wanna get it. If you have it here on your arm, it's literally just boom, that's it, you've done it. So we're gonna go around town. Let's do like three laps of town and we'll see what Pokestops we can get and what Pokemon we can catch. Oh, here we go, another Pokemon. All right, so let's press that. Let's see, is it gonna capture it? Um, one. No, I haven't caught one Pokemon from this yet. <laughs> For some reason, my Pokeballs must be absolutely rubbish. Or maybe it's because we're driving. I don't know if the, because we're driving, it doesn't capture it. Maybe we go out of distance. Oh, another Pokemon. Hello, hello. There we go, one. Failed again. Man, this, this is crazy. This is gonna take up so many Pokeballs. Again, I don't know. Is it gonna be using my normal Pokeballs, my Great Balls, or my Ultra Balls? Let's stop and have a look, look at our journal and see, we'll like, we'll get a number of how many Pokeballs I have and we'll see if they go down, maybe it decides what you wanna pick. A really good idea would be if you could select all, so you go through all 151 Pokemon and you select which ball you want the game to use if it comes up on your Pokestop or Pokemon uh, Plus accessory. That would be really neat. We've just pulled in and I have got an egg, but before we pulled in, I literally had a Pokemon come in as we were driving in. I pressed it and we got a multicolored symbol come up. So we captured something, which is awesome. Let's see what we get from this egg. I don't know what size this is. Again, sorry there's no screen recording. This is obviously from my new foot. Wow, the worst Pokemon literally in the game. We got a Zubat, which really, really sucks. Did we get anything else? Oh, we got another egg coming. Okay, so we're obviously having a little bit of a hatching spree here. We're really close to leveling up to level 31 as well. So that could, oh, nice. Yo, you never see Vulpixes. Never see them. I've got enough to evolve into a Ninetales. Sweet. All right, I didn't even realize that. We've got another egg. How many eggs have we got hatching? Again, this is because we were driving slowly through town. It registered the majority of it. A Caterpie, not that great. Good for levels, but we really could have done with a Charmander instead. Is that everything? Yeah, that looks like everything. So we are so close. You can see down here, we are insanely close. Uh, we're like 8,500 away, which is awesome. But let's uh, really check our journal and see what that says. So uh, these are the hatches. And then we caught, so we caught a Pidgey, a Raticate ran away, and a Goldeen ran away. So, you know, two pretty good Pokemon, I guess. An evolved uh, Rattata is it's pretty good. But we caught the Pidgey. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look and we're going to see how many Pokeballs we have. And then we're going to do our lap. You want to access my camera for some reason. Okay. Um, so we have got 16 Pokeballs, 39 Great Balls, and 49 Ultra Balls. So we're going to come back and we're going to see if any of these have depleted after we've caught some Pokemon. Now I'm not going to select the Poke Stop. So when a Poke Stop pops up, I'm not going to select it so that we can do this accurately. Let's see what it uses. I'm really intrigued to see if we're going to use all of the Poke Balls or if it's going to take a, take a few from each. Okay, here we go. So we've got a Pokemon. So we're going to press it on there and we're going to see what happens. Sometimes, so we've got one, two, three. Yeah, come on. Oh, what? Normally if it does three, it's always caught. Cool. We've got another one. All right, let's try this next Pokemon. Clearly there's quite a few Pokemon around. Oh my God, and we missed that one as well. And this is the Pokestop. I'm not gonna get the Pokestop. So what we're gonna do now is let's switch down to the phone and we're gonna have a look at how many Pokeballs I've got. Now this is quite interesting. Obviously we got two Pokemon spawn, but for some reason we've only lost one Pokeball, which is really, really weird. Whether one of them just like didn't work and it, it's not gonna count it, maybe we didn't lose the Pokeball. But as we thought it used a normal Pokeball, it didn't use a Great Ball or an Ultra Ball or anything. And I've just had another Pokemon pop up and I've just caught it. So if we jump into our journal now, which I, I can't do this because I'm driving so Adam's got to do some amazing camera work and finger work on the phone um, we can see what we have got or what we caught from our journal so what do we get our oh, red light perfect I can have a look too so we used up a few pokeball and we we lost a weedle we lost a pidgey we caught a weedle and we caught a cat is that a caterpie oh no that hatch okay so we we only caught a weedle which isn't bad, but maybe because, okay, so we caught one, right? Maybe that used the Pokeball, and maybe if you don't catch them, you don't use up a Pokeball? Is that how it works? All right, we've got another one pop up. Let's use that and have a look. So again, you count it, one, two, three, Yes, there we go. It's multicolored, which means we caught one. So maybe it's, oh, oh man, we caught, we got another, I caught another one. This is awesome. Maybe it is just if you catch them, you use up a Pokeball. Uh, and we didn't catch that one. So let's go back to the to the Pokeballs and see. I got a Pokestop, but I'm not going to get it. Let's see if maybe now we should have only lost, if this logic is correct, one Pokeball. So we should be on 14 Pokeballs. Let's have a look. We are on 12. My logic was nonsense. And it turns out it uses Pokeballs every single time, which is really annoying. So it seems a little bit inconsistent when it decides to, to like tell you it's used a Pokeball, but it definitely does use your Pokeball up every time you throw one. Okay, so my Pokemon Plus thing has actually gone off saying there's a Pokemon, and on the screen it shows you which Pokemon it is selecting. So we're trying a Caterpie right now, no, sorry, a Weedle, and we caught it. So now, in theory, yeah, that takes that away, puts it in the module, and it tells you you've caught it. So. For some reason, you can use your phone at the same time. It will select which one it is selecting for you so you can see whether or not you want to waste the Pokeball on it and then you can capture it. So it's pretty sweet. I don't know why you would not just use a Pokeball if you wanted to catch it through that. But again, it's a pretty cool idea so that you can see exactly what you're catching and it's not just anybody's guess. We pulled in at Ye Old Horse Trow Devises and we're going to be battling a Snorlax uh, a Vaporeon and another Vaporeon just for a little bit of fun. Now obviously the Pokemon Go Plus has nothing to do with gyms. It won't do anything with gyms. It won't even like recognize that there's a gym there because obviously what's it going to do? It's not going to go and battle it for you. Uh, so we're going to jump in and have a battle. I'm wondering that if Pokemon spawn while we're in the gym, the Pokemon Plus is going to work. I don't know. It might work. It might not. So one thing we have found though that I wanted to tell you was that if this disconnects or this disconnects here, you go back onto the settings, you press the eject button, you press this button and then it just reconnects. It's super simple and it works really, really well. Um, it's a little bit annoying obviously it disconnecting every now and then, but it's not that big a deal. So we're first off fighting our Snorlax with MLG. MLG is still my most powerful Pokemon. I don't have my Dragonite yet. I'm working towards it, but we're just so, so close. Uh, but it seems to be so hard to try and find these Dragonites uh, or Dratini's candies even. Uh, and at the moment, I've got as a buddy a Machoke. Uh, you can't dodge Earthquake, can you? No. I don't, I don't know if you can, actually. I don't know if I did. I might have done. Um, I've got my Machoke because I'm trying to get Machop candy so I can get my Machamp because he is also another new Pokemon. And I think he only requires three kilometers uh, for a candy, whereas Dratini or um, Dragonite requires five, which is a long way to walk for just one candy. I don't know why I'm not dodging. I'm not concentrating very well. Uh, should I save this? I'm gonna try and save this solar beam for the next Vaporeon. 
I don't know if I'm going to get it, though. This is going to be really tight. Please don't use Hydro Pump or whatever it is you have. Yes. Okay, here we go. We're going to be able to use our Solar Beam then on this second Vaporeon straight away. Boom. Do some damage before he kills me. Yes, there we go. Look at that. Super effective. Half health already down. You're about to drop out, but well done, Executor. Oh, Water Pulse. Dodge. It's not dodging. This is really weird. Uh, but this is the first time I've used my iPhone 7 for it. So I'm used to my uh, Samsung Galaxy S7. So the screen is a little bit smaller. Uh, and it's actually not looking as colorful. Like the screen on this, it doesn't look as good as the S7 Edge. But it is playing really, really smoothly. And the battery life on it, even though we've got Bluetooth on because this requires Bluetooth, seems to be pretty good. I had like no battery when I started. So it seems to have held up pretty well. So let's battle that again. We'll come back to it and see how we do on the final battle and see what Pokemon we can put up. Now, interestingly enough, we've just done another battle and you can see here that the Pokemon Go Plus has actually seemed to turn off as soon as we went into a gym battle, which is a little bit weird, but that means I'm going to be able to show you how to reconnect it really easily after this battle. Uh, we're going to be using MLG one more time just to take him down as fast as we can. And then I'm going to do another little thing that I've wanted to know, but nobody seems to have done yet. I'm going to delete my Pokeballs. So I've only got like 12 Pokeballs. But I'm going to delete all my Pokeballs and see... Oh my god, dodge it, dodge it. Yes, I dodged something. I don't think I did, actually. Um, we're going to see if it uses Great Balls and Ultra Balls. Because I want to I want to see if it uses them. And I kind of want it to use them. I don't want it to go just, oh, you've got no Pokeballs, so we're not going to capture anything. I hope it's intuitive enough to use the other type of Pokeballs. So, there we go. Vaporeon has been dropped. Now we need to see if we can put our Pokemon on it straight away. Have they updated this at all? No, it seems to still take quite a while. Actually, it's not as long as it used to take. It did used to take a lot longer than that. Uh, and we're going to drop in a powerful Pokemon. I'm going to drop in... Actually, I'm going to drop in Muck. Let's let's see Muck at the top for a bit. Please, some, there we go. I was worried that somebody was going to take it there. So there we go. We've well, got Muck in there, and I'm going to show you how to reconnect that. So you literally go Settings, Pokemon Go Plus, Eject, press that button there, press it on there, and, and that's it. It's as simple as that. It's really easy to connect, successfully connected. And that is now that. So, let's go on to our items. We've got here our Pokeballs. We've got 12 of them. So, I'm going to discard all 12. And now we're going to go on a little drive and see what happens. Maybe it's going to work. Look at Muck. He looks, he looks so cool up there. It might work. It might not. I hope it does. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we've got a Pokemon. A Pokemon has spawned near us. I'm going to try and capture it. It failed. Okay, it didn't even try then once. And it fails straight away. What did it say on the screen, Adam? You're out of Pokeballs. You're out of Pokeballs? No! Okay, so it is a fish. A official? It's official. This thing is only good with normal, everyday, red and white Pokeballs. Wow. That's a real bummer. I'm really actually, I'm really annoyed about that because personally, I don't collect Pokeballs. I don't collect Pokeballs. I'll only save my Great Balls and my Ultra Balls because we get so many at Pokestops. But this now will not work unless I go in and buy some Pokeballs, which is really lame. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over now to the next Pokestop, which is just up the road here. Uh, the Hummer is very noisy, so it sounds like I'm going fast, but I'm not. It's just really, really noisy. We're gonna go to this Pokestop. We're gonna try it again and see if it does give us one Pokeball that we can use, because I think there's normally Pokemon just up here by the pond. But that's a real bummer. I'm actually really, really annoyed about that. Okay, so the Pokestop is right here. Is it gonna notify me? Yes, it does. Nice. Okay, so we pressed it, and there we go. We've got stuff from the Pokestop. What did we get? Does it say on the screen? Oh, hold on. We've got a Pokemon. We've got a Pokemon. Uh, okay, so we must have got a Pokeball, but we lost. What does it say, Adam? Pokemon fled. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Have we got another Pokeball? No, what does that say, Adam? We're out of Pokeballs. No! Okay, so we got another Pokemon, but I can't get any of them because I'm out of Pokeballs, which means... I'm going to try it one more time. Which means we now need to go and buy Pokeballs if we want to use Pokemon Go Plus. Anyway, guys, there we go. That is my Pokemon Go Plus episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you want an iPhone 7 giveaway. Smash the like button down below. The video after this as well is going to be me leveling up to level 31. So it's going to be a big video. I hope you're hyped for that. Until next time, though, thank you for watching. Peace out.